just waiting. Waiting like the rest of us at home on our lockdowns, finding stuff to do. So the sketchbooks that I've been using are the Etcher Lab sketchbooks, which I have absolutely loved. And they are the best sketchbooks you'll ever need and you'll ever need again or use again. Very compatible to the Arches watercolor paper. So, anyone in watercolor knows, and if you don't know, you'll know now, that you can cheap out on your paints. You can find some brushes that will get you by, but your watercolor paper is a make or break supply that you'll either love watercolor or you'll hate it, and it's based on your paper. That's my belief. That's what I've worked through. Now saying this, I wanted to try another sketchbook that I've seen reviews on YouTube about. The price point was better. And I went into one of the local stores and they had these sketchbooks. And I thought, well, this was back when the stores were still open. We're back in lockdown now and things have all gone to your curbside pickup or ordering online, which is what I'm waiting for today. And it's supposed to be coming today at some point. We're still waiting. Anyways, I digress. Back to my watercolor sketchbook story. So I picked up one of these sketchbooks and I thought, well, I will try this. Now I have another sketchbook. I got a smaller size, again, commitment. Didn't want to really go with the big one in case I didn't like the paper. And it's a good thing I didn't because this paper in this sketchbook is, it doesn't work. It says it's a watercolor sketchbook. And if I hadn't already had experience and spoiled myself with the Etcher Lab sketchbooks and the Arches watercolor paper, which I've been using for, let's just say a few years, I won't get into my age or anything like that, but I tried this sketchbook and it is a watercolor sketchbook, but the watercolor sat on top of the page. It was like I was painting with my kids' watercolor supplies, which yeah, sometimes I use. Don't tell them. It didn't work out. The sketchbook was nothing compared to my Etcher Lab sketchbooks. Okay, so let me show you if I can remember how to work this thing, this camera. Isn't that a pretty background? That's one of my acrylic paintings that I did years ago. Okay, a couple years ago. And uh, it's in our house right now. It is for sale if you want to check it out. It's on Etsy. Go visit my Etsy shop. The link's below. Back to the sketchbook story. So this, this is the sketchbook. Do you recognize it? Many, many, many reviews on YouTube for this sketchbook. And it is made by, let's open it up and find out. Speedball. Speedball sketchbooks, which go Google that. You'll find lots of reviews on these sketchbooks. I thought, what a great opportunity to try out this product. Very disappointed. I will be very excited when my Etcher sketchbooks get here. Anyway, so I did a few little tests in the sketchbook. Look at this. No comparison. The watercolors just kind of beat up on it and don't, no, not my thing. I'll still use it because I have it, but waiting for my Etcher Lab sketchbooks.
I dropped the little one on the floor. I am so excited. I absolutely love them. It's usually with my Christmas money that I get. Uh, it's gift cards for our local art stores, but being in the lockdown that we're in, art stores are not available, uh, curbside pickup, but I decided to go with sketchbooks this time. So my first order of the sketchbooks were the three pack and the links are all down below if you want to check out uh, the price point and they are a bit of an investment, but worth it. Like I said earlier, your watercolor paper will make or break you in your journey in watercolor. Meaning if you're using a cheaper brand, which I showed you with this sketchbook, the speedball sketchbook, and some people use these and they love them. I have been spoiled with my arches and my Etcher Lab watercolor, and this just didn't make the cut for me. The paper in here is not the same quality as the paper you get in your Etcher Lab sketchbooks. So, still have this sketchbook and I will still use it. I've used it for drawing and I might add some watercolor to it. It just doesn't react the same as what I'm used to and what I prefer. The effect and the results that I get from my Etcher Lab or Arches watercolor paper. So, lessons learned with that. Now, let's call this an unboxing. So these are three different sizes and let's open them up and check them out. Bubble wrap, plastic wrap, and they each come in their own little cardboard envelope. Very nice packaging. It is a lot of packaging, however. How do you open these things? I can figure this out, right? Very nice. So this is the little one, obviously by the size. Uh, I think that was silicone gel so that it stays dry. Nice packaging again. It This is the small one and it comes wrapped in cellophane. It's got the white covers so you can paint pretty pictures on them. I didn't do any of that on my old, old ones. You know what I should do? I should show you a tour of my sketchbooks. I hate watching those videos. They're so boring. Maybe if I made it interesting, I'll only show you the nice pictures that I do in my sketchbook because your sketchbooks are your, they're my practice books. So most of the stuff in my sketchbook is unfinished work. It's ideas for other paintings that I want to do. Anyways, back to the sketchbook unboxing. The little one, when I open it, it'll tell me inside what size this is. So we'll just call this the little one for now. This has got tape and sticky stuff. Another paper envelope. So this is the medium size. See, small, medium, a nice paper envelope. Please recycle. Maybe I'll use these to put my old sketchbooks in to keep them nice. And oh. <laughs> more silicone packages. Medium sized sketchbook. You can see a theme going on here. So the next one is the big one. messages coming up oh my God. Uh. look at that this one has the plastic wrap on the outside of the envelope
little elastic on the envelope. Da, 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 da. More silicone packages. And this is the large, large one. It goes this way. This size is my favorite. And I debated whether or not just to order, you can order a three pack of just this size. But I like these sizes too. It's nice to stick in your bag and I take them in and work on them when I'm traveling. I don't, who's traveling? I'm not traveling, I'm going to work. So when I'm at work, if I have some downtime, I bring my paints with me. And these are great sizes to put in your bag and bring along. I, however, prefer working on a larger piece of paper. Let's open them up and I'll talk to you about what the little information card is in the back. Okay? Okay. Love the fresh smell of a new book brings so many opportunities that you can put in these and where to start and what to create. I'm just kidding. So let me turn the camera over here so you can see more detail of what the book actually looks like. Okay, so here we have the Etcher Lab sketchbooks. I believe this is an A5. This is the big one. One of the biggest ones. I think it is the biggest one that they have. They also have a The Perfect Sketchbook Signature Series line, which I haven't gone into that yet. That is quite an investment for a sketchbook. And like I said, my sketchbooks are my practice. They're where I doodle and practice out new pictures that I want to paint. But my idea of using sketchbooks more this year is so that all of my paintings are in a book so I don't have a bunch of loose paper my favorite of course is the arches watercolor paper and this paper by far is the most compatible if not a little bit better I don't know if I should say that but I just love them so this is the weight of the paper I believe it's 140 we'll get to the back of the book and it'll tell me exactly what this paper is. And you can paint on both sides. So you can paint on this side and you can paint on the back side of the paper. That's kind of weird lighting. I have a light down here. Ooh. Anyways, let's go to the back of the book. And they all have these little pockets in the back. And in this little pocket is, yes. So this is their information card for creators. Etcher, Etcher Lab Sketchbooks. They are my favorite. What does it say here? Can we, okay, A4, so it's an A4. I was close, I said A5, A4. This is an A4, so 11.4 by 8.3 inches. A landscape format, which is my preference. And it's made of 100% cotton, again, which is what you want when you're working with watercolor. It is a 230 GSM, both sides. You can, I can contest that yes, it does work for both sides of painting. Pen, ink, watercolor, and gouache. 52 acid-free pages. So 26 sheets, 52, you're painting on both sides. Okay, so I have tucked that little information card back in the back. In our little pocket there, there's a spot on it that you can write your name and fill out all that information, but I don't do that. There is an elastic to hold it all together. So when you do start working on it and it gets a little bit thicker, you have an elastic to, is that annoying anybody? Look at that twist. I can't leave that, we have to. We have to make it untwisty all the way. There we go. There. Now everybody's letters can be good because I've untwisted the elastic all the way around. Their little cute little llama symbol. He's so cute. So this surface is paintable or doodle, 
Doodleable. That, that's not even a word. Doodleable. You can color on it. You can make a pretty picture. But I haven't. I've just left them white. I wondered about them being white. How long they'd actually stay white for. And I'll show you my old ones. They are still actually white. And it has a little ribbon that you can mark your pages in them. Oh, let's go on to the next. We'll open up this little one. But same book, smaller pages. And in the pocket in the back, it should have a little info sheet again. And this size is the A6. So it is a 5.9 by 3.9 inch landscape format. Again, with the 100% cotton watercolor paper, 230 GSMs, 52 pages, 26 sheets. And there's a little spot where you can write all your credentials. I should have filled that out. Be good advertising for my video. Uh, the links are all below in the bottom and I might put them on here on the screen somewhere. So that's our little book. And again, it has a little ribbon. And there you go, the little one with the ribbon. And the third size that comes in the order that I purchased is a medium in between size. Take the plastic wrap off. Say hello to our cute little llama. I wonder if he has a name. I should look him up on the website and see if they've named their llama. And again, same book, same paper, lay flat pages, pocket in the back. Does anybody use these pockets? What do you use these pockets in the back of your sketchbook for? You know, you think, oh, that's great. I can put like pages in there that I've painted on something else. Maybe reference drawings, if you've printed a reference drawing. I don't know. So what is this size? So this is the A5. So this is an A5, which I thought this one was, but it's an A6. A5 and A4 was the other one. So an A5, which is 8.3 by 5.9, landscape again, cotton fabric cover, made of heavyweight paper, 230 GSM, 100% cotton, cold press. Paint on both sides, 52 pages, 26 sheets, and it's good for making things. All art. Back in the little pocket that I don't really know what I'd put anything else in there for. Our little elastic that goes around. And there you have it. My Christmas money well spent. Three brand new sketchbooks ready to go. So these are my old sketchbooks that I have, you can see, have obviously used. There's a bit of the paper warp. You can see with uh, using it, it's all watercolor. There is some ink in there, but most of the pages have all been filled with with watercolor so you can see that it doesn't warp as much i do have the elastic on it but they hold together really well the cover it's still white again i maybe i should put the year on it like this was 2020 and just a little tour of some of my paintings this was a fall leaf one i had a youtube video i'll put the link up here on the screen um, but I'm really liking the sketchbooks for my videos that I'm doing because everything stays in the sketchbook. I don't have a bunch of loose pages. And you can see the, I like to do sometimes like this where you go right through the seam, but they are amazing. Oh, here's a reference page. I can put this in my little pocket in the back. What do you use your pockets for? And yeah, so there's the last page. So it is the, I just bumped the camera, sorry. So it is the last page of the book. So it's the back side. And uh, this was the last picture I did a couple of days ago. And you can see that you can paint on both sides of the pages. There's no difference from front to back. So one of the nice features of, of this sketchbook. And the pages don't really warp. They're nice, heavy quality. 
And yeah, I, I just love them. And I'm so happy that they're here and I can do some more painting. So let's put in some footage of me actually painting on this paper. I don't need you here to feel good. No, I'm not angry. I got better things to do. Tell your friends I will be just fine. Don't need no therapist. There's nothing like, nothing like wine. Thanks for watching this video of my, I just bumped the camera again. I gotta get better at this camera stuff. They are, they are a great product, worth the investment. With all of our online ordering and curbside pickups and all that kind of stuff, you don't really know what you're getting. And uh, I know Archer's watercolor paper right now is tough to get and uh, a great alternative is the Etcher Lab sketchbooks. So maybe Etcher Lab will watch this and want to support the whole thing. But I bought them with my own money. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite sketchbook is or what you work with, whether it's watercolor or acrylic. I should do some more acrylic stuff now. Now that I've got all my watercolor sketchbooks. Let me know what you like to work with. Are you working with watercolor? Are you doing acrylics? Are you doing some inks? Those would be really fun to see. I'd like to see some more um, artists that work with, uh, with the watercolor inks or the acrylic inks. But um, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.